Hello everyone, this is George from Imagine Nerding, and I had the chance to visit Fort Wilderness a few times, but I never was able to simply walk around and explore. So, on my last trip to Orlando, I started off by taking the water launch from the Magic Kingdom to Fort Wilderness. And honestly, it's one of the things that I love about Walt Disney World, the water transportation. I mean, spending 15 minutes on a water launch is always so much nicer than taking a car or a bus. Fort Wilderness at Walt Disney World opened on November 19, 1971. Originally, it was intended as a camping site, and there used to be a railroad that actually operated there from 1974 to 1980, as well as different recreational activities to help entertain vacationers. River Country was always a big draw for the area. It operated from 1976 to 2001. And for the most part, if you're not staying at one of the campsites or the cabins, then you're probably visiting Fort Wilderness to take part in the hoop de doo review or eat at the Trails End Buffeteria. So once I got to Fort Wilderness, I strolled past the Trails End and the hoop de doo buildings. There were a lot of people waiting for the show, which is still on my bucket list. I ambled over to the Tricircle D Ranch area and I was surprised by the number of ponies that were out in the early evening. The original manager of the Tricircle D Ranch was Owen Pope. Walt Disney hired Pope before Disneyland opened because Walt always wanted horses at Disneyland. And the Tricircle D Ranch was always intended to be a working ranch to take care of the Percherons and, uh, for the parades and the horses and ponies that were used for guests. And it's fun just to walk around the ranch and check out the ponies, the blacksmith area, and the outbuildings. One of the hidden gems of the Tricircle D Ranch is the 1907 Dragon Calliope, which is basically a pipe organ that is played by moving it. Walt bought it from an amusement park in Los Angeles and used it as part of the opening day parade at Disneyland. It also appeared uh, in a few different movies and was moved to Walt Disney World in 1981. So this is my first trip ever to Fort Wilderness and the Tricycle D Ranch. And I ran across this great display about Walt Disney and his horses. So walking backwards isn't going to work well, but I still want to show you guys this area. This is absolutely fantastic. What's back here? The display on the Walt Disney horses has some incredible photos of the horses in various roles throughout Walt Disney World. And many of the photos can be quite surprising. Make sure to check out the model of the Calliope that's being pulled by the horses. There's a barn tour that's offered periodically, and it sounds like it would be something fun to check out. After visiting the barn, I ambled over to the pavilion that houses Mickey's Backyard Barbecue and found a neat tribute to the Disneys and the area. On top of the soda machines, it reads, Elias and Sons Carbonated Elixirs, Inc. The next one says, Wilderness Ice House Company. And the last one says, Bay Lake Bottling Company. I also moseyed over to the fence surrounding the remains of River Country and snapped a few photos through the various holes in the wrap. Now I didn't go into the area, of course, because that's against the law, no trespassing here, but I wanted to peek through the holes. I had forgotten that they had filled up all of the pools as part of the problem with the Zika virus and mosquitoes. Visiting Fort Wilderness is something that everyone should add to their Walt Disney World vacation at least once. Of course, you don't have to visit it every time, but if you're going over for a hoop doo doo review or to visit the wonderful Trails End, make sure you spend a few minutes looking at the Tricircle D Ranch and all the animals. 
you'll be amazed at how big the Percherons actually are. I really enjoyed my visit, and I know I'll be back again. Once again, this is George Taylor from Imagine Nerding. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you leave me a comment and share it with all your friends. I'll see you in the next video.